guess what we're doing today? If you guessed the same exact thing we've been doing all week, you are correct. But today, I have Sean with me. Today should go a little bit faster than yesterday. Our job for today is gonna be to put on the five lug conversion. Putting the five lug conversion on the car that will get the RB in it so I can start putting the wheels on and start setting it all up. No. Is gone today. And that way I can start measuring for how big I need the equips to be. <laughs> So right now, I'm just taking this arm off of this car so we can swap it over to that one. I'm trying to get all the pieces together so we can literally just as efficient as possible put all the parts on. So it gets kind of confusing when you're taking everything off and you're mixing all the bolts and nuts and everything. So as long as we have everything in one spot and knows where it goes, then we'll be good to go. Well, I can appreciate you on a jam on this, but unfortunately both of these cars are old and clapped out and all of the bushings and everything are destroyed. So you need to hit up AutoZone or O'Reilly something and get tie rod ends, uh, lower control arm bushings before you can. Okay, so that looks first. like we're uh, taking a trip, John. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're going to AutoZone. Alright. Now that that's removed, we're going to head to AutoZone. I have no idea where that is. We're going to have to look it up real fast. Such a hassle, John. Freaking setback. It's alright. I'll see you guys at AutoZone. Hey, we made it. Cool, so we're at AutoZone right now. I'm going to go see it. I hope they have the parts, because if not, then I'm like... I'm not really screwed, but it'd be nice if they had the parts now, so I don't have to wait. Uh, I need a higher end rod for Nissan 240SX and a lower ball joint. So we sort of got what I needed. We got the tie rod ends. Uh, we still need the ball joints, so we're going to try O'Reilly's. They didn't have it here. Um, if O'Reilly's doesn't have it, then we're screwed for that. Well, O'Reilly's, you failed me, as well as AutoZone, you both failed me. Um, they don't have the lower ball joint, so looks like the assembly of the five lock isn't going to happen today. A few moments later. Okay, so a little update on our day. Me and Sean had an epiphany while eating Chick-fil-A. Right here. So we have this shop called Parts by Max, or probably you guys know them as PBM. They're local to us, and they always have really nice suspension parts for 240s and, you know, drift cars, things like that. So I gave them a call, and they ended up having some control arms with tension rods that actually replace my ball joint and all my bushings and stuff. So I said while everything's apart and instead of going OEM or having to order an OEM part, might as well just do the upgrade to have it that much better. And I want the car to be done right. Like I don't want to take any shortcuts. I know I've said this before, but I don't want to take any shortcuts on the car. If everything's done right, I will never have to really worry about anything. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Me and Sean are heading to PBM right now. The suspension is gonna be really, really nice. So that's what we'll end up doing today. All right, it's freaking bright. So PBM should be here somewhere. There's T Motorsports, which is pretty cool. Right there. Oh, sick. Oh, oh, oh. so dope, dude. Oh. You know it's real whenever they have this sitting outside the shop. So, part shop max. Up. Hey, how's it going, man? I called earlier. Yeah, what were you trying to pick up? Uh, the uh, ball joint and that whole assembly thing. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So oh, that's fine. So this is it right here. Yeah. Sweet. So this is gonna replace the inner bushing, the tension rod, which these are always blown out really bad, and the outer ball joint all together, all in one. So perfect. Just so. what I need. All right, Sean. You got it. Did it, bro. Oh so, yeah. Literally have everything I need in here for the install. Um, it's getting pretty late, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. You know, that's like the worst thing to say when you're doing like parts, is like, I hope it doesn't take too long, because you know what? It's It'll gonna go take really long. So we're just gonna go ahead and load up and start this stuff when we get back to the warehouse. Well, a short trip turned into a very long trip, but we did make it back. We have the tie and rods, and now we have all of my arms and stuff. Should it be too hard to put on? Let's go ahead, head into the warehouse, and we'll unbox everything to show you exactly what we got always ends up happening to me, you know? I go to buy something small and I end up buying something big. I guess it's like, that's what's gonna happen with this with this car build. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need a bolt and it's gonna turn into me just buying insane amount of bolts. All right, so for today's install, we're doing this really late because um, I unexpectedly am doing this. 
but these are the Part Shop Max arms. So this consists of lower control arms, uh, tension rods, replaces my bushings, and replaces my lower ball joint. And this is some high quality stuff. This is actually really, really sick. So this thing is extremely adjustable. So if I want like mad camber or something like that, this will help me do that. Or if I want a really good angle when I'm like turning so my tires don't rub, this will give me that. Everything right here can expand. This will open up. Literally, this thing is fully customizable to how you want to drive. So the way we're going to set this up, we're going to take my lower control arm now, measure it from here to here to see how long it is. That'll be my base measurement. I'll set it to as long as my lower control arm is now, and then put it on. And then once I start actually driving the car, we can take this back out and adjust it accordingly, but my wheels aren't even built yet, so I'm not too worried about it right now. I'll just have it as stock, and then once we're ready to start putting the car on the road and stuff, and I start actually driving the car, that's when this will be adjusted. So, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and start installing these. It shouldn't take us too long, so let's do it. I also got these as well. These are just my outer tie rods. These are just an OEM replacement. I didn't get like any aftermarket kind, but these are actually just replacing this right here because as you can see this is completely just fucked beyond belief like this is yeah the bushing is all messed up that's completely done so a little bit nicer it'll be clean all right before we go any farther we are going to have to remember things that i am not going to remember down the road so what i'm going to do now is shout out to part shop max for these cool stickers um i'm going to make a list on the car that make sure that I remember what I'm doing. All right, first order of business, get this thing off and replace it with the OEM, replace with one that I just bought, and then we can start on the fun stuff. This is what you would expect. We have ran into a problem that we need to run to AutoZone again. It's literally a 20 minute drive there and 20 minute drive back. So we have to run there again because we need a new boot. Um, this boot is complete trash and so I don't wanna reassemble everything with a trash boot. If it's already off, I want to have it done correctly and I want a nice boot. So we're just gonna go get some replacements because we're gonna need one for the other side anyways. And even the boots on this car are trash as well. So we can't use those. So we're gonna go back to AutoZone and go. Struggling. Struggle. This is, this, is what I, this is what I signed up for. Just gotta tell myself that. We're going to AutoZone, right? Yep. Boom. Got it here, dude. These just literally replace this boot right here, but this one has like a little tie on it that we're gonna have to cut off so that we can put these back on. Uh, here. Slip it through here. Not just a nice boot, Sean. It's a brand new boot. There you go. Like a glove. Or like a boot. Like a boot. Tie in rod is now on. We are good to start on the angle kit. Before we install this, to make sure that this is as close to factory spec as possible, we're gonna measure from the ball joint to the end right here, because this assembly completely replaces this. So in order for us to get factory spec, obviously, you measure from the ball joint to the end. And then that's what we'll set the angle kit to, and then put it on, just so it's a little bit easier to uh, actually fit it onto the car. And then once the car is actually able to go on the ground, that's when we'll go back and adjust everything. This ball joint is 13 and one half inches. Both sides. Oh, you see that boys? Oh, yeah. We did it. That's teamwork. That's teamwork. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? It's not, not yeah. any. <laughs> <laughs> we just hammered this, this bolt on there. <laughs> no, no, it's stuck now. It's 100% stuck. Whose idea was this? <laughs> His idea. How else are we going to get it off? All right, well, in the process of getting the ball joint off, we actually just destroyed the nut right here. So I'm just gonna it's cut it scary. off. <laughs> don't. I don't even care. This is all Noah's <laughs> no, fault. No, it is not. All your fault. No. So I'm just gonna cut it off. Got it. Yo, we're good. Okay, 
right, so before we put the angle kit on, you kind of go ahead and install this. Just so we can, wow, this is wow. fucked. Is that from us? Yes. Get the brake shield off, install this, and so that'll help us line up the angle kit for whenever we're trying to install that. Now, I really hope we can start. It's been a long day. Almost there. Oh. Yeah. It's on. It's on, dude. It's shit. It's on. I got looks like shit. Get out of here. Good. It looks good. Looks good. <laughs> I got the tie heads, the tie rod end connected to the hub now. Now we can begin this. This is it. Oh, it's such lighting. I don't need uh, Okay, so pretty much all of my cameras have died, or all my batteries have died. I've been dumping, dumping a bunch of footage. I'm using Evan's camera right now. Uh, Sean's been working on fitting the angle kit for me. Yep. So Sean, what's, what's the deal here right now? So right now the issue is, since it's so adjustable, the way it came just obviously won't work. So right now I'm trying to have it to where it's all gonna work out. We need to adjust this to be able to fit the bolt, the bolt through the lower control arm. And then once we do that, we can start doing the uh, the ball joint and then assembling end links Sweet. and all of that stuff. Yeah, so not an easy process, but we're trying to get at least one side done tonight. So we've got, so we at least get one thing accomplished today. Building a 240 isn't easy. and uh, This is definitely what I signed up for and I know that, but the satisfaction that I'll get once this is all done and the car is complete and it's driving around and I know I did it the right way is gonna be so great and so worth it. All right, so my mans, come here. Right there, brother. Sean literally got it right away. So lower control arm is adjusted and he got this bolt in there as well. So now as long as the uh, as long as the ball joint lines up, we are solid and ready to go. It's gonna line up. It's gonna line up, dude. Okay, so kit is fully on. Thing that sucks is we have to retake it out now. Now that we know that it's adjusted, we retake it out, uh, measure it for the other side, and then we have to tighten all of this like really, really, really hard so that it doesn't come unadjusted and loose again. So that's the only bad thing. Either way, as long as we got it on, that's what matters. Now we know the measurements for the other side, so we're all solid. I'm gonna go ahead, take up this entire thing off, tighten it up, and I'll show you guys when it's fully on the car for good. Yes, we yeah. did it. We did it. They are full, or at least one side is fully installed now. Brakes and everything, everything's connected except for the end link right here. I need new bushings and I'm just gonna end up getting new end links and sway bars and stuff. So we didn't connect the end links, but everything else down here is completely connected and good to go. I can even throw a five lug wheel in this car right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah! This is a, uh, this is a, uh, this is a milestone in the 240 build right here. One of the wheels. One. <laughs> a of single four. wheel can fit on this car right now. Why don't you guys take a look at this and, and remember this moment for when this car is finished. This is the first, the first wheel on the car. Just take a look. Just look at it, Noah. Just see that? It's a nice look, it's an equip. See that, Nikki? I see it, I'm looking right at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together. When they have two lips. And, oh, I'm honestly, just looking it's gonna at this be the mess that you guys made and wondering how the fuck we're gonna clean this up so we can go eat. Oh, got that, that side been. done. Haven't even began this side yet, so I think we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna call it a night for tonight. It's a long day. We've done a lot. <laughs> For a long time, right? now. It's like four or five hours. Don't worry about it, dude. It's me like- Hey, it's, I don't know anything. I'm learning. I, I know zero. So like for me to disassemble my entire suspension and put it back together, like that's fucking awesome. Like I know what to do now. So like, that's like the point of it though. Like that's why I like to do this. That's why I'm literally <laughs> dropping a frame of one car and putting it in a different one. Just cause I'm gonna literally know how to take this car apart and put it back together. All right, bros, we are calling it a night. No more work for today. 
Um, we did a lot of stuff, but didn't get a lot done, if that makes any sense. We, it was more of a learning day. So now tomorrow when I come in, I know exactly how to put that side in and it shouldn't take a long time, which is perfect. All right, shop's clean, doors are locked. Time to go home and edit.